which the kind of jobs we do, the kind of life we live, it just becomes so chaotic. No matter how much you want to drop your ego, it just becomes so difficult. And then there's a surge of going back to the mountains or wherever, holidaying, let's say. How how can we control? Can we can we make it better? Can can we live a better life even in cities? I mean, I was thinking to completely give it up. But then it is clear that the answer doesn't lie in giving it up. It's about being at peace anywhere and everywhere. Then you first have to give that up within you, which keeps you in city, and then you can be in the city and yet be peaceful. It is not currently peace that keeps you in the city. It is fear that keeps you wedded to the city. Drop the fear, and then whether you remain in the city or in the mountains, you would be all right. Are we in the city because we love the city? We are in the city because the city promises us security, progress, advancement, all of which is just another name for fear and greed. Drop the fear and greed. The city is incidental. Having dropped the fear and greed, see whether you still want to live in the city. Chances are you would not, because you are in the city only because of fear. Fear is gone. What would you do in the city anymore? And if fear is gone, and you still find a reason to be in the city, then continue. It's not the job; it's what you, what keeps you in the job. Pay attention to that. Yeah. It's not that we are in bad jobs. It is that it is with bad minds that we are in jobs. It is with bad minds that we go to any job. And when the mind is bad, naturally it will be attracted only to bad jobs. So do not talk as if the problem is outside of oneself. The job may be good, bad, depends on perspective. But what compels you to stay in that job? I always ask. It was you who signed the acceptance letter, the offer letter. Why can't it be you who signs the resignation letter? What keeps you in the job? Pay attention to that. Hmm. And don't say, "Oh, my responsibilities," and uh, you very well know that is so deceptive, hmm? hollow.